Earlier on this month, my next guest became one of the very few professional male footballers to publicly come out as gay. Scottish striker Xander Murray joins me now for his first TV interview since that announcement. It is so lovely to see you, Xander. It really is. How are you feeling about all of this? How are you right now? Oh, Lorraine, I'm just riding the wave. It's yeah. absolutely incredible. Do you feel better? Weight is lifted off my shoulders. Exactly, because for a long, long time you had to be so careful about what you said, and mm. and uh, because we know how difficult it is to be a professional footballer yeah. and to be gay is really difficult. What made you finally think, do you know what, this is the right time? I felt that you know, personally, I did a drip feed process. Right. I came out to my close friends and family last year in April. Okay, and was um, that all right? It was. It went amazing. Yeah. Good, it good, went good, absolutely good. Absolutely fantastic, and. Slowly but surely, I got to a point very recently that it was only the football community that, that didn't know. OK. And I felt within myself, I fully accepted myself for the first time in my life. Mm -hmm. And I thought, do you know what? I could actually be another pillar of this community, uh, follow the footsteps of Jake Daniels, Josh Cavallo, sure. overseas, and Robbie Rogers as well, which I took great inspiration from. And, yeah, they really helped me. Because it must have been hard for you growing up and there wasn't really anyone, apart from those men that you mentioned, mm -hmm. but when you were a kid growing yeah. up, there wasn't really anybody that you could say, oh, OK, that's fine, because th that just didn't happen, no, did it? There was, at the point, there was not really a lot of role models that sure. I could look up to. Of course, the football side of things, I could look up to many players, but me as a person, sure. I did struggle with that, I will be honest, mm -hmm. and say... And that's probably why I was closeted for, for so long. Mm. You know, I didn't have the pillars of the community that we have now that, you know, helped me to come out. Of course, and the thing is though, Xander, you can be that person yeah. to a wee boy right now who's thinking, there's nobody for me to, and then, oh, there's you. <laughs> and that's incredible, that's an yeah. amazing thing. Have you found that already, you know, from the reaction that you're getting? Yeah, of course, I'm new to social media. So honestly, it's been incredible, the direct messages that I've got. Um, hearing stories, you know, of fans and current players and younger players messaging me saying thank you so much and asking for advice and guidance. It just melts my heart because, mm -hmm. <clears throat> of course, football has always been a passion and drive. But as I'm getting on now, I've thought, what is, what is going to give me that fire, the other yeah. fire? And I definitely think I've found it in regards to inspiring younger generations, mm -hmm. supporting current, current gay footballers, if you like, and hopefully being on platforms that can definitely support them. Because it's just, it's that thing of nudging along. Like, you know, you do this, then maybe that inspires others to do it. And then it's like dominoes, Domino you know, and then eventually, and I really look forward to this day, we'll go, yeah, and? Exactly. What's the big deal? Exactly. What's the big deal? But the reaction you've got has been really positive and yeah. you're with your family and your friends' support. Yeah. Um, you can be you. That I must know. be, it's like, it must be kind of like, <sighs> I, can, I can actually breathe, you yeah, know? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm just feeling myself for the first time yeah. in my life. And just, just, back to your, just back to what you said there in regards to the football world, women's football is exemplary, and that is, you're I seeing know. that in the case, you know. You do. It's not news when people come out, it's, they can just live their day-to-day -day yeah. life, which I honestly hope I can be another pillar that men's football reaches that stage. You yeah, know? the way that women's uh, football has. Absolutely. Because nobody bats an eyelid. Why should mm -hmm. they? Correct. That's the thing. Why should yeah. they? I know lots of people have got in touch. Lovely Tom Daly, who of course we know very well and who oh. taught me how to knit. Um, and yeah, well. he's he's been in touch, hasn't he? Just saying, hey. He like good yourself, you. Lorraine, he is an absolute icon like yourself. Yes. And I you know, I messaged him, he messaged me while I was on the way back from football training in a car with four boys <laughs> and I had tears in my eyes seeing his direct message and I messaged him back. I went, look, I've got, I'm in a car on the way back from football with four boys and, you know, I've got tears in my eyes and I don't even care. And that's, you know, just a you're you, myself. And that's yeah. fantastic. And but he's been amazing. Gala Fairy Dean Rovers. It's the most romantic name of any footballer, <laughs> any football club. It's just so lovely. No. And all the guys are cool. Everything's fine. Top to toe, that football club is magnificent. Um, my big worry was, and this is a message I want to convey, my big worry was if I come out, these strong connections I have in my football team, will they, you know, will I lose them? Absolutely not. They have been incredible and if anything it's strengthened my connections. That's wonderful. That yeah. is really, really good. Yeah. And why do you think that it took you so long? Why do you, what, have you asked question. yourself about that or yeah. questioned that? You know, I'll be honest and say I've done a lot of work on myself. Right. Um, 
coming out is one thing last year, but what no one tells you is actually fully accepting yourself and being, being at peace with yourself. Um, no one gives us, gives us a, a gay rule book, if you like, you know, to, <laughs> if you're walking about with a boyfriend or, you know, you're walking about with your queer friends, how you're going to feel. And I had that internalised homophobia for quite a bit of time. And it was only up until, you know, last couple of months that that just slowly diminished, which I can't tell you enough, Lorraine, is amazing. The only thing that I am absolutely baffled about, Xander, beyond baffled, is that you're single. <laughs> Come on, How, what's going on? What's happening? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, just my focus, of course, is on this. This is of my course, this is my drive, course. my passion at the moment. So, my simple message to that is, I just don't have enough time with him. But you're also very beautiful, me, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very, well, very beautiful. We'd be a nice partnership in Absolutely. so many ways, and no undignified scuffle at the end of the evening. It no, would be no. it would be rather lovely. Um, but look, you're going to you have got such a lot that you can give back. It's going to be yeah. wonderful. And um, I know you're going to be talking to schools. You're going to be talking to football academy. Yep. just to get that conversation going. Correct. And, yep. me, and it's, it's all right. Yep. It's OK. Um, we're tying in with a lot of campaigns at the moment, a lot of charities. There's, there's a lot on the pipeline. Yeah. Uh, obviously, a, a simple saying is, I need to keep the main thing the main thing, and I still need to keep playing football and scoring goals, but 100% there's goals out with uh, playing football, sure. and I'm going to 100% focus on that. Yes, schools, education sector, I want to get in the grassroots level and out with that, just as long as I can share that message mm -hmm. to as many people. And honestly, if it supports and empowers one person, it's done its job. Oh, honestly. you you do much more than that. You really will. Thank you. I mean, you're just talking to you now, I can see what a difference you're going to make to, to so many people. Well, Sandra, you. what a joy. Oh, it's been thank a you so, so much for coming in. Um, and to all of your family. Sybil, your mum, isn't yep. it? She'll be watching. Yes, yeah. yes. She must be extremely, extremely proud of her boy. Thank you oh. so much. More power to you. Keep in touch. Will do. Let us know how you're getting on. Will Great do. to see you. Thank you so much. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.